4.29. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but, but only such a word as is good for education. Point to the need of the moment that ill gain grace from those who hear. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth. Good job, man. Excellent job. Um, one more last thing. What? Ephesians 4.29. <laughs> yep, we always do reference, verse, reference. So, good job, buddy. I'm proud of you, man. Ready to go to school? Yes. Do you love your teachers? Yeah. Tell everyone how much you love your teachers. It's and mutual. I love them all, and I always love them. They do what I say, and I do what they say. And uh, I love them, and I love them. Yeah. That's powerful, Caleb. Caleb, <laughs> how many times a day, how many episodes of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse do you watch a day? A, a lot more weeks. Like, Wait. only about one, because it doesn't come on when he's at school. Comes on the in the morning. mystery. So he watches about five of them. And he only five. Five. Say episode. No. Say, Dad, I'm not up to three syllables yet. It's the NBA draft lottery. Biggest day of the year if you're a Magic fan. This kid's not happy. I'm trying to vlog and he just wants to cry. No. So it's going to be good. Oh, man, I'm really excited. We got, ah. Uh, we keep our Magic tree up. We usually take it down when the season's over, but we kept it up this year, and uh, you know we're keeping it up through the draft, hoping it'll be a little bit of good luck. Not that I believe in good luck or anything. Light it up! There it is, all lit up. Our magic tree. We're actually, we didn't, we got a smaller one. We used to have a larger one, and uh, right now it just has like the generic ornaments. I have vintage ornaments from the early 90s, some of the original ornaments from the Orlando Magic Seasons because they've been doing ornaments like every year. So I have them for the last like eight years and then a bunch of the 90s ornaments that she kill O'Neal hanging on the backboard. When we used to have the large white tree, we used to be able to hang them all, but now we have a little one that can fit in the living room uh, and not be really super intrusive. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. And with the Orlando Magic Senior Vice President, Pat Williams. Yeah, buddy. The Charlotte Hornets. That means that Cleveland has vaulted into the top three, folks. And this pick was the Pistons, but because they're not in the top eight, it goes to the Charlotte Hornets as part of the Ben Gordon for Corey McGetty deal. What? The NBA draft goes to the Orlando Magic. And then there were three. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. The Philadelphia oh, my God. If Cleveland gets the top pick... Again. I will flip. The Milwaukee Bucks. And that means that the number one pick in the 2014 NBA draft goes to... Oh, uh, what happened? Who are we going to pick, babe? I think we're still good. No matter, those, those guys, Parker, Randall, Wiggins, Exum, Embiid, no matter which one you get, you're you're in good shape. So hopefully, I don't know. I can't even say who, huh? Any? Yeah, one of them's good. probably Wiggins, but any one of those guys is going to be Rookie of the Year. So you can't go wrong. Even with the number two pick last year, we got Oladipo, and he had a fantastic. He was Rookie of the Year runner up. So I think we're still good. I think we're still in good shape. I sold the basketball hoop. That's somebody in the background taking it away right now. Sad day, folks. It's gone. So a guy came and got it, and he had his son with him. His son is like 10 years old, and he's in the youth Aww. youth basketball. I know, it's like a touching thing. So at least it went to a good home. His his son is in a youth basketball league, and he's like he's pretty good, apparently. And he travels, and uh, oh, wow. so it went to a good home. Somewhere where it will be loved and cherished, and I know I sound like I got rid of a pet, like we had to give away a pet, right? A loved thing, but I really loved my basketball hoop. I loved having it out there and able to go shoot hoops with Caleb anytime I wanted. We got to use the Fisher Price 
hoop anytime we want to play, and that's kind of broken. So, got rid of it, went to a good home, but still, it's like, ah, my poor I'm basketball hoop. I, we got better than I thought we would, so that will go toward buying a, an in-ground hoop that will stay forever and ever and ever. <laughs>